Little Sisters is an organization that came to us looking for support in how to address the fluoride problems uh, from their bo borehole, which they had recently established. Water is life, and you can do nothing without water. You can't cook, you can't wash, you can't even run in, even in anything without, without uh, water. Uh, and was very high in terms of capacity, but uh, beyond the threshold of acceptable levels of fluoride in the water. So it was causing significant problems to the hospital, to the facilities there, um, and, and one that would not be easily addressed by Kiwash or by USAID alone. And it actually met um, all the key uh, criteria uh, for selection. There was high fluoride, there was a deserving community where uh, they were not getting access to piped water and therefore relying on underground water. And three, we had uh, willing partners uh, to come to the table to make this project a reality. We have here basically two units. First, we have an ultrafiltration unit and uh, we have a nanofiltration unit. The ultrafiltration unit will be used as a pretreatment to the nanofiltration unit. So the nanofiltration unit is what we have here. This one is the equipment now that will be probably loaded as an entire unit, the way it looks like, and will be offloaded at site and just positioned the way it is. And we are, we are thrilled beyond belief when we saw the huge machine and how it was offloaded carefully uh, with the experts uh, supervised by uh, manager Rono. Uh, he, he, he played a significant part in the whole assembling and uh, offloading and smartering. The bulk unit will uh, be sitting here. Uh, then from here, we love the ultra filtration just coming to sit on this section. And then uh, the, the, uh, the final installation, the tanks will be seated here. So this room, ideally, um, all this equipment should fit here and there should be some space left so that uh, when someone is assessing their room during the cleanup, um, during uh, the repair and servicing, there would be a walkway path all through. From this other hand, all through to the other end. Across your tours, you're going to find people who have brown teeth naturally. This is because the content of fluoride is a bit high, and this is about 3 4 ppm. So, for us to be able to effectively demonstrate what we thought was the right way of uh, removing fluoride in a sustainable manner, we needed partnerships. And then, uh, basically, it's a Kenyan company. We we're set up uh, in 1946, so we're about 72 years old here. We operate in about eight different countries. in the region. Our focus is on energy and water solutions. Uh, basically we say we deliver water and energy solutions to, to improve people's lives. Our role basically in this project was, was to put together all the different technologies, 
um, take, take the systems from DAO, the membranes from DAO, design the control systems, and basically carry out the entire installation. The little systems want to do is to be able to distribute water that's safe for the community to play, right. leaving the fluoride on one side of the membrane, and what comes out on the other side is, is pure drinking water. So is it like a membrane of it? Really at the molecular level? It's, it's filtration at the molecular level. Wow. It could be used as a model uh, for other communities. If you choose the right partners, you support the technology and create awareness and ensure that it is backed up by a good quality product, then for sure the project becomes highly sustainable. We are very happy because we are our main purpose is to spread the gospel of Christ. But then we this water has really brought to us another dimension of our evangelization because we are going to give people clean, safe water. Another sip and a second. Another sip.